Hey, and thank you for clicking play. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while now. Back in the day, um, we used to do, uh, we used to make null modem RS-232 cables for gaming, uh, linking up our Amigas. So a few games we used to play. Um, there was a motorbike racing game. There was F-16 combat pilot. There was stunt car racer, things like that. Really cool. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to make an RS-232 null modem cable. You know me, it's always about the nostalgia. So what this is about is how I used to bodge them together, all right? So please don't view this as a tutorial. What I've got is a D25, um, and what you're gonna need is a D25 um, female, um, obviously there. Um, light's not too good in here, which is why I've got my, one of the lights just blew, so I've got the light on my phone on to help. Um, and I've obviously I've got another one for the other end, because, you know, I'm eager at both ends. And one of the things that sort of had me flummox was where did I get this information from? I know I got some of the information from my mate Daryl, and I know he made me some of the cables, and I started making my own. But then I realized that I got, I got a game recently, um, and some of the games actually came with the information in it. Keep in mind, we couldn't look this stuff up. Um, and so you can see here, this particular game tells you how to do ST to ST, Amiga to Amiga, and ST to Amiga. This is just a printout I got offline, but these came with some of the games. Um, so yeah, so that's cool. Um, so I've got that, I've got my cable, nice long cable, um, and I've just counted, I think I'm one short, but I think there's one that you loop round. Um, keep it in mind, what I need it for is predominantly the sending of files from Amiga Forever and stuff. Like that. I was using a D9 at the other end, so I need to look up some more schematics, but just for the purposes of, of getting this video started, we'll go with this, because this clearly shows where the crossover is, and that's the important thing. We're tricking the Amiga into thinking it's it's dialed into another, and there's the crossover there. So 11 goes to 12, and 12, and, um, 12 goes to 11. So that's the important bit. These are all numbered, um, but, uh, I need my glasses. That's all right. We'll, we'll do a couple of solders and then we'll, I'm not going to put it all on. We'll, we'll edit it back together, all right? So I've got my, um, what I never used to bother to do was actually put cases on them, which is why they always fell apart. So I've got these as well for both ends. And these, just as the soldering skills are as bad as they were when I was 16, so is the solder. I'm pretty sure this is some of my original style solder, possibly stolen from school, can't remember. Um, I do actually have a fresh pack on the wall over there, but um, yeah, we're just gonna use this because this is what I used to do back in the day, and that's what it's all about. Uh, I've got the soldering iron here, that's been on for a while now, so my way of testing, sometimes I'll spit on it, but I won't do that for you guys. Um, you can see I haven't got any sponge or anything ready, I'm terrible at this, but I usually just, oh, don't tell me. The thing keeps tripping. This is an old soldering iron. Everything appears to be on there. That's definitely, ah, oh, bugger. I really wanted to, let me just try flicking it off and on again. Hang on. Let me just try it. Oh, bugger. Yep, there goes the power. Ah, oh, crap. All right, tell you what, I'll show you where my breakers are. So I've got breakers for in the shed, but they're all on. So it must be the one to the... <laughs> my light's just gone off. That light there was on. It's my pool table. There's my car. Um, all right, well, we're going to have to go into the house, then, aren't we? All right, we'll come back. I'll take it with me. I may include this in the edit. I may not. We shall see. If you're watching this, I clearly did. Bit of an adventure. Um, it's a bit spooky, really, isn't it? Ooh. Anyway, make sure the cat's not about to get out of the... Uh... I think we're all good. So... Oh, into the, yeah, well, every, all the lights are off. All the lights are definitely off. But microwave is on. That's odd. So it must be. Uh, 
must be the breaker out the front. That's really weird. Sorry about this. Ah, oh, well, this this um, brings me to what I'm planning to doing on. So to this evening is um, I'm going to do a live stream, and um, it's going to be at eight o'clock. Let's have a look here. On. And there's on. That's weird. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a live stream at eight o'clock, and so eight o'clock Perth time. Um, I've been enjoying a bit of VR, as you probably remember. So eight o'clock Perth time. And what I'm going to do a live stream on is some VR. Being Halloween, I thought what I'd do some live streaming on is um, some scary games. So what do you think? So that's um, eight o'clock Perth time, which is midday UK time. So this video that you're watching now will be put up Everybody's out. I thought I just heard something. That's all right. Um, so that's midday London. What the hell? I wasn't playing with this earlier. What the hell's going on? Um, well, that's the game I'm... Boys? Nikki? They've all gone out. I swear I didn't, I didn't turn this. Anyway, um, this is the game. This is the game I'm gonna be playing um, on the live stream. This, if you haven't seen it, is Paranormal Activity on the PS VR. The frickin' hell. Okay, so this is Paranoida. It's a really good game, so it'll be a really good fun game. I have progressed to about here. Um, it's going to shut Bloody cat's freaking me out as well. Um, so yeah, um, so it's a really good game. Paranormal Activity is based on the, the film franchise, which I really enjoy. It's one of my favorite film franchises. Um, I just love the simplicity of it. And Paranormal Activity on PSVR is actually a really good, um, way to experience um sort of is it a good game possibly not is it a good horror yes it is um and so i have progressed so far but there's um i'm at a certain bit that is that is quite confronting um it's not this bit that's earlier on um but yeah uh but yeah so that's that's my plan so that's that's what i'm planning to do and um yeah from what the hell the hell was that? Like... <laughs> what the heck? What the hell? Like seriously? I have to go back and review the footage. Um, all right, so weird things going on here. I don't know what's going on. Um, so yeah, 12 o'clock London time, 
Eight o'clock in the in the evening, Perth time. Paranormal Activity live stream VR.